Great morning, everybody. I hope you agree. Great morning, world. Welcome to the Rise Up with Dragon podcast with your host, Dragon. Love that. Love the sound of the... <clears throat> of the alarm clock going off. I have to set up a, a cool song for something else. There it is. Great morning, everybody. You know, somebody was telling me the other day that uh, they're like, you know that when you do your rise ups in the morning that you're all sweaty? And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. You know, when you when you live in this world of like doing these rise ups every morning, you know, Time is like very, very valuable. You know, I, I, my, my schedule is, I think for years now, I've been getting up at 4.30 in the morning and some people think that's crazy, but for me, it's like the greatest thing in the world that I do. I, I used to hate it. And then I went through this phase of thinking that it was gonna be, it was gonna get easier and it did get easier, but not easy. Um, now it's a habit, you know, so that's a testament to habits. Um, you know, I, I just, I don't even need an alarm clock. I wake up at 4.29 every morning, so I never actually hear the alarm. So, you know, pretty amazing what the human body and brain does when you get used to things. So I was just talking to my buddy Dave, um, and I said to him, I said, because uh, I've been doing these rise ups for five plus years, maybe longer, who knows. But I was just asking, because, you know, I mean, I don't know, I guess it's gotta be close to a thousand, you know, that I've done. And I said, I asked him, I said, do you, do you ever wonder if I'm ever going to run out of ideas? And, you know, in that moment, it made me realize that, uh, you know, we are just so underutilizing the creative con uh, aspect of our brain. You know, if you sit down and go through a journaling process every morning, I'm here to say that you can come up with a new idea, catch it, process it, make sense of it you know, write it down, share it with somebody else so you own it for the rest of your life, every day. In fact, sometimes this morning I wrote two because I was writing one and I loved it. Um, and that one was probably something I'll share at another time. That one's called the antivirus. It was a little deep, so I had to make sure it made sense first. Um, and then I started to, and I heard one word. I, I heard somebody in one of my morning rituals use the word diversion. And then I came up with today's. <clears throat> so anyway, I guess uh, my offering to you today is expand your brain capacity today. And, um, you know, maybe that's a nice intro to today's rise up um, about creating a diversion. Um, maybe that might be the diversion for you is to start allowing your brain to grasp onto different concepts that are not necessarily perceived as useful in your average ordinary program. You know, most people get up in the morning and react to the day, right? Very, very small amount of people take control of their day by potentially waking up a little earlier or um, taking some ideas and writing them down. Um, could be as simple as drinking water when you don't, um, but create a diversion. And what happens is, is if you do that with repetition, that becomes your autopilot and norm. And I've spoke about that quite a few times. So what I want to talk about today is if you study success and happiness and fulfillment, you know, which everybody wants, you know, please introduce me to somebody, even that grumpy person that you know, please introduce me to somebody that does not want to be healthier, happier, and wealthier. Um, I just... And then you, and if you do, I will say your friend's a liar, right? So everybody wants that. Um, but where the challenge is, is, is in the not knowing that they can, in the not knowing how to do it. Um, but still, there are people to teach those people how and then support them. Like in my business model, um, which is a home based business, I can show anybody, anybody, how to get healthy get happy and create a wonderful, wonderful income stream from home, I can show anybody to do that. No, no previous skills necessary. But when you look at something that's abnormal, that's, that's a diversion from the norm, 
you can look at it and say, well, it makes sense. Growth takes place out of the comfort zone. If I take a left instead of a right, I, that's where I hear and read every book. Any successful person strayed from the herd, right? So we can all look at it and know that. But the reason why we don't take that diversion, and, and for those of you that don't understand what a diversion is, is it's like you're going this way and somebody comes out and goes, no, 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 go that way. And that could be you telling yourself to do that. But the reason why we, we stray from that diversion, even though we know 100% if we're moving forward in life and we're not moving forward, right? And we're just caught up in the program and the hamster wheel and the forecast shows stormy weather, right? And then we just learn how to deal with mediocrity and do the best that we can and be grateful for what we have. If you're in that world right now, I just want you to take your head and pivot it and look over there and know, you know that there's, you, you're gonna need to take a different path, a diversion, right? So the reason why we won't take that though is because as soon as you assess that, even though you know that it's what you need to do, as soon as, by the way, this whole journal entry will be in my Instagram account if you follow it at that guy, JC Dornick. Um, and I might, I might even put this one on the YouTube channel, this video. But uh, as soon as you look at that diversion, it offers you failure, right? You know that if you take a different path today, because it's new and it's different, you know that it carries failure with it, right? You're 100% sure. And guess what? You also know that all roads to success have failure in them. So you listen to any podcast or YouTube video or read any book on failure, and you show me one that says, that failure is a bad thing. Every single happy, successful, fulfill, fulfilled person, even the greats, have actually experienced failure. Here's an example of how failure always creates growth. Think about every, anybody that's, that's training. Like I just went for a, an intense Peloton ride and I did a little bit of lifting. You know, the way that the body works is the body grows after it fails. Like I, I did, I maxed out on, you know, I did a 30 minute Peloton and at the end I had, I failed, my body failed. And I did a little bit of muscle work and my muscles failed, lactic acid and all that stuff. Why would I do that? Why would I go intentionally get up in the morning and go to the gym and fail? Because that's where growth takes place. So I guess my, my, my offering to you today is, um, Acknowledge once again, and we're very good at pretending that we don't see opportunity. Acknowledge once again, and you might, that opportunity might be somebody offering you a hand over and over and over again. You have opportunities to get healthy, happy, and wealthy, and they're there, and you know that they're there, but you become very, very good, a black belt ninja, right, at ignoring those things. So I'm offering you permission to look at them today. Take that, that pivot away from the hamster wheel today. Look at it <clears throat> and then go through that process of acknowledging that's the way. That's where growth takes place. This ain't working. The forecast isn't good. That's the way. And then as soon as that fear comes in of the unknown, when you start to say, can I? How will it happen? All of that stuff. As soon as that fear comes in, I want you to remember in that instant that that fear of failure or being overwhelmed that is exactly the way you feel right before you do something great. So great morning to everybody. Um, we're in the process of moving. You might see that everything looks the same. This is the only thing in my entire home <laughs> that I've kept normal. As soon as I'm done with this rise up, all of this stuff comes down. We have an, a very unfang shui environment, but I wanna give a shout out to my chicken who has a very big day today. Very excited for my chicken. And I want everybody that, that has any connection with the universe to send those good energies and, and vibrations to my chicken because today's a very big day for her and I wanna give it to her. Love and appreciate you. Have a wonderful day.